I'm sitting here on my back porch and later in the evening. The sun's kind of going down. It's cooling off. It feels really good. It's pretty peaceful here. You know, that seems to be lacking in this world that we live in today. A lack of peace, a lack of finding rest. You know, Jesus in Matthew 11, 28 through 30 says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart. And you shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Let me share an experience I had today um, at work. I was working with a patient and I was working with this lady on some basic mobility skills. Going from laying down to sitting up, sitting balance, and we were going to work on going from sitting to standing. However, there was one problem. This lady has a problem with spatial relationships. She's disoriented to where she is in space. So when she's sitting up, she feels like she's falling forward and over to one side. And so she positions herself leaning way back and over to one side. Now, we were pretty successful in getting up from laying down and with her sitting balance. But there was no way she was going to stand up. As soon as we started bringing her weight over her feet, she immediately just pushed hard backwards. You know, sometimes in our lives, when we're seeking peace and seeking rest and, and seeking relief from the burdens we have in life, we're disoriented to what that means, to how to overcome that, how to, to receive peace in our life. And when we come to God and come to the Son Jesus Christ and seek their will in their lives, sometimes that will is something we don't want to do, something that we see as opposite that we, want, we need to do in order to find peace. But just as with this client I was working with, over time, she can be reoriented to what is straight up and down and to get used to leaning forward so she can eventually stand up and walk with what she wants to be able to do. And so it is in our lives. When we come to Christ, we have to learn of Him, learn His ways, and begin to understand that His way is the best thing for our lives. And then we can start following Him. You notice the verses I read. There's, there's no requirements to come to Christ. No restrictions in coming to Christ to gain that relief from the burdens that we bear. It doesn't matter where you are in your life, how much sin you have in your life, whatever lifestyle you live, everyone can come to Christ. Jesus says, anyone who comes to me in no way will I cast him out. In fact, Romans 5 tells us that when we were without strength, without strength to become obedient to him, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Are you seeking peace in your life? Are you seeking rest for your soul? Then come to Jesus. Learn of him. Let him direct you in your life to a way of peace and relief of the heavy burdens that you bear. And you'll find relief for your soul.